What's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you awesome shortcuts that you can use on your iOS device. So, let's get started. So you guys seem to really enjoy my shortcut videos, and I enjoy making them just because there's no one out there really making these type of videos, so I'm going to continue to provide them as much as I can. So, without further ado, let's get started. So opening up the app, the first shortcut is going to be an ultra low power mode, but I just want to mention, I guess, a shortcut or at least a cool trick inside of the shortcuts app. If you search up vibrate, you can actually get a feature that whenever you tap on the shortcut, it will vibrate your phone so that way you know that you have some sort of feedback whenever you tap on it. Because sometimes I'll tap it and I don't know if it activated. So now you get like a haptic feedback when you tap on any of the shortcuts and you just have to have the vibrate feature at the top. But this low power mode basically just turns off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular data, and you can even set it to do airplane mode if you so choose. And it even turns down the brightness and turns on low power mode. This next feature is kind of like a gimmick. It works 50% of the time. It's basically a photo recognition software. You take a photo of something and it comes up with the list of what is in that photo. I've tried this earlier and it did work, but it's not working anymore. So it's like a 50-50 chance. This next shortcut is really cool and practical you type in a date in the future and it will tell you how many days until that for example on october 15th let's say you have something significant happening you just type in the date and it'll tell you how many days until that day will come to pass this next shortcut is literally just a shortcut to the shazam app it can actually be pretty convenient to have this rather than having an actual widget take up a ton of space you can just have a button this next shortcut is amazing it'll take any sort of screenshot you have and it will put it inside the frame of an iphone so typically you would need an application to do this or you need to pay for software and i unfortunately have paid for software in the past to do this that's how i make my thumbnails but what's really cool about this is you no longer need to do that this next shortcut lets you download Instagram videos whenever you're inside of an Instagram video. You just scroll down to the widget panel and tap on that shortcut. Now this next shortcut is really cool. It's a built-in translator and you can translate English to any language you want. And you can change the preset to whichever language you so choose. So I don't really know if this is an accurate reading or not because I do not know Arabic at all. But I just thought it's pretty cool that you can translate languages through the widget panel on your iOS device. There's so much more potential to this. More videos are coming out soon. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.